Teki 45 T-H is a rank 2 battle rating 3.3 pathetic excuse of a heavy fighter. This particular example, residing in the premium side of the Chinese tech tree, is based upon one of three examples given to the People's Republic of China after Japan's surrender and put into active duty in the number one squadron of the air combat group sometime in 1949. The engines are decent for the plane's PR and each produces a hefty dose of 975 horsepower under normal conditions. This allows the communist war price to reach speeds of 450 km per hour on the deck, though performance quickly falls as height increases. In typical Japanese aircraft building fashion, the Ki-45 were made to be fairly light and maneuverable. This helps it in combat situations, as with energy advantage, it can easily bamboozle inferior, democratic and fascist pilots with its surprisingly great turning radius, which is aided by the combat flaps that have been blessed by the chairman Mao himself to be the best in Asia. Keep in mind though that if an enemy fighter is paying attention, they can almost certainly keep out of your sights, so I recommend engaging only with enemies who are already fighting your team. Your main advantage comes from most people knowing that your plane is shit and not paying attention to you before it's too late. The only major fault with control of the Ki-45 comes from the roll rate, which isn't great at speed but actually ceases to exist once your speed drops low enough, I'd say below 280 km per hour. At this point you'll have to use the rudder to roll. Don't let your plane get too slow by turn fighting, instead fly somewhat straight if you see the speed dip. Avoid speed exceeding 720 km per hour, as the controls will lock up. The main problem with the Ki-45 is not getting behind the enemy, but rather nope. the way to go about things from there, which is ironic as most heavy fighters excel at deleting craft with a tap of the trigger. The Ki-45 is armed with a 37mm nose-mounted cannon, a nose-mounted but slightly to the right positioned 20mm cannon, a local machine gun for the brave volunteer worker in the rear cabin and two upwards facing Schrage Musik type 20mm cannon. This is where the problems begin, as none of your tools are blessed by the Mao and all cannon have very low ammo pools, 100 shells for each 20mm with the upwards facing ones often going unused and only 15 shells for your 37mm which is supposed to be your main armament. The lack of mouse approval manifests nope. itself as the front facing 20mm feeling very inept in comparison to contemporary 20mm nope. weapons of other nations. When firing it you often only seem to receive a hit message nope. and no critical damage is achieved. Whereas the 37mm can indeed do damage, but due to fire rate and lack of ammo you will run out in around 3 seconds. Furthermore, the 37mm is highly inaccurate and often you'll score no hits in firing all your shots, even if you have good trigger discipline. The plane has self-sealing fuel tanks and 16mm armor plates behind the pilot, as well as two smaller plates in the nose, so the pilot most likely won't die before the plane breaks apart around him, not that it really matters. How to use the Ki-45 T-H in battle, you may ask. Short answer is that you don't, but instead play a BF-110 or a P-38. The long answer is that you avoid 1 vs 1 situations with anything more maneuverable than you, as due to unreliability of the weaponry you can't be sure of victory in head-ons. Much like in real life, the Ki-45 will be destroyed if it engages fighters on equal grounds. So be sure to engage fighters only when they are already engaged or if you have a significant altitude advantage. Spare your ammo and one tap the 37mm since it's the best chance you have to do damage. And of course, study your little red book with care for maximum blessing from the Mao. In conclusion, this could be the worst possible premium purchase you can make, or the worst possible war bond purchase like it was for me. That being said, you can occasionally grab a kill or even two while flying this aircraft. Keep in mind however that even in a perfect situation, you will often end up dead due to running out of ammo and energy. I would rate this aircraft on a scale of 1 to 10, with 5 being average, a 2 out of 10. Not completely useless, but mostly so. 